Welcome to Smacky's Garage. Today we're going to be changing the brakes in our 2018 F-150. We're going to go ahead and we're going to get the rear ones changed over to new stock replacements. So I have about 52,000 miles on the truck and the brakes have finally gone in the rear. They're starting to grind, you can hear it when I'm driving, and you can definitely feel it in the pedal. So what I'm going to do today is we're going to go ahead and we're going to do a full replacement of the rear brakes. The car has an electronic parking brake, so we're going to need to set it up correctly so that there's no issues there while we're replacing them. Let's get the car into position, get the rear end jacked up, the tire off, and we're going to go ahead and start the rear brakes. All right, so we need to put the electronic parking brake in maintenance mode. We have the key in, so we turn the key on. Now we're going to hold the electronic parking brake in the release. We're going to push it down. We're going to push the accelerator all the way down. We're going to turn, it, turn the car off, and then within five seconds, we're going to turn the car back on again. You should see. Parking brake not released. There we go. So you see parking brake maintenance mode on now. So I'm going to go ahead and let go. Now that I'm in maintenance mode, I'm going to go ahead and I'm just going to turn the key off. All right, so we're going to start by jacking the car up, and I always jack by the center pumpkin and put jack stands under the axle tubes. So I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to jack this up, get it up a little bit in the air, and I'm going to take off the lug nuts. Okay, so I got the jack stand underneath. I have the jack ready to go up. Now I can take off the lug nuts. So using the 21 millimeter socket, I'm just going to go ahead and remove these. While the wheel is off, I might as well clean it. Alright, so looking at the this, you can see the brake is pretty much gone. The rotor needs to come off and be replaced. So we're going to go ahead and we're going to start by removing the caliper. Okay, to do this, I'm going to use a 17. I'm going to put the 17 on the slide and I'm going to take a, use a 13 to loosen. Okay, now one turning, but they can't both turn at the same time, so I gotta hold this with the 17 millimeter. So one of the things I noticed is, this is actually not as easy as you'd think to get a socket. You need a thinner 17 millimeter to get in there, but I'm able to just hold it with the vice grips and able to kind of just remove this. Kind of surprised my socket didn't just fit in, but oh well. After we got one loose, we'll go ahead and move to the second. So I just have to, these aren't that tight. I just have to hold it while I'm loosening this. Okay, now with both those out, you can see these are moving freely, which is good. So I'm not going to do anything with those. Now I can remove the caliper and hang it somewhere. Removing the caliper, I should be able to just take a screwdriver and pry it off. Let's see if I can just pull it like this. So I was able to just take the caliper off by hand, which is nice. And I bought these caliper brackets from Amazon so I can hang it so it doesn't get damaged. Uh, looking at the caliper, we don't want to make we want to make sure we don't crinkle any of these lines. But you can see the electronic parking brake motor right behind it. This is going to be the motor that's going to put the parking brake on when it's when you're trying to put it on in the car. So with these brackets, because I put this on, I have nowhere to hang it. So if you have the inner fender liners, might as well just not hang it. Okay, so it's just going to hang out there. So now I can take off both pads. You can see these pads, they have about 50,000 miles on them. They're completely gone. With the pads removed, now you have the calipers with your rotors which you need to come off. And they're just coming off nice and easy, so I do not need to use anything to smack them to get them off. Which is nice. Alright. 
So now that we have everything apart, we're going to go ahead and we're going to replace these clips and then we're going to put some grease on them before we start putting everything back together. So I'm happy I didn't have to pull these brackets off because this bracket here, the bolts are 184 foot pounds to get back in and I did not want to have to deal with putting that back together. So we're going to go ahead and we're going to remove these two brackets and we're going to replace them with the new ones that came with the kit. It's a good idea to clean these up and scratch off any rust that might be on the mating surface. You really want to make sure these are sitting flat before you put the brake pads in. So if you want to get make sure that this comes off easier next time, you can put anti-seize on this or you can put anti-seize on the back of the rotor before you put it on. You know, mine came off so easy and it's probably going to change in the same time frame, so I'm not going to bother doing that. So now I need to push this caliper back in and to do that, you can either use a large C-clamp or you can use the right tool for it, which is a, a device that kind of connects here and then pushes back. So on the rear brake calipers, you don't spin them in, even though they look like you do. So I'm going to use a flat plate to push it in. Uh, in the instruction manual, at least on the 18 with electronic parking brake, it says not to. So make sure you follow this instruction per your vehicle if you try to attempt this. So I can get this lined up in the center and I'm just going to compress. And see with the parking brake in maintenance mode, it's going in nice and easy. So this should make it so much easier to put back together. Now I don't want to push it too far, so I'm going to stop there right before it's flush and I'm going to check to see where it is before I push it further anymore. So rotor goes on first. parking brake, or then the brakes go on. So I'm going to use brake caliper grease and I'm going to put a little on both sides. I'm going to slide it into here. So I'm also going to put one of these in place just to hold this in while I get everything lined up. This will go slide on into the bracket. Do the other side the same way. So you can see how much more material is on these than the other ones. So quick comparison. It's like completely gone. So again, grease on all the sliding points where it's touching. I go ahead and put this one in this side. Both are in place. I'm going to just put the caliper back on top. So we can see the caliper needs to be compressed all the way. Well, now that I have those both in, I'm going to go ahead and put the slides back on. Now, if you want, you can take these out and grease them, especially if they're not moving. It's probably something good to do. 
I think one of the interesting things to note that I didn't really realize after is how far the caliper piston actually doesn't hit the brake pads. So it's going over the top and you can actually see it up top. So both of these bolts need to be torqued down to 27 foot pounds before they're put back and installed. So for now, I'm just going to snug them up and you really want to hold the this nut still or the caliper still because you don't want to damage that boot at all to potentially get water in there. If you have something to hold it, a thin 17 millimeter, use that rather than a voice grips like this. Now with this side done, I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to get the wheel back on and I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to do the other side. All right, now we just need to put the parking brake back in out of service mode, key on. We're going to pull the, we're going to turn the ignition on. Foot to the floor, apply under the parking brake. Then we're going to turn it off. Within five seconds, we're going to turn it back on. And you'll hear the parking brake apply itself. All right, that was it. It's a hot one out here today. Glad to get this done before it gets too hot. Parking brake is working again. Brakes sound good when I'm driving it. They're not scratching. Thanks for tuning in to Smacky's Garage. I'll see you next time.